decided to go sit in the, the old killing cabin tonight. I built this uh, deer blind over the summer and uh, turned out really, really sweet. Over the last couple weeks, we've been having a lot of kids out here and it's been so cool. This is not meant for your normal hunting. This is usually used in the late season for doe hunting, um, getting out there and taking the does that we need to take for our management programs and stuff. But this is the management time of year that we're trying to shoot does and everything. So we're pulling this blind out into areas where there's deer moving through to try to take some of these does that we need to take at the end of the year. And the other night we had eight people in this blind. We had three adults, five kids, and it was just a riot. It's just a great time of camaraderie. I'm using a new cartridge that isn't available yet. Um, it's something that's going to be coming out in the near future, and it's really, really exciting, real fast. So I'm really excited to use this and uh, see how it works. We've already taken a few deer with it and hope to take another one tonight. So we'll sit back and relax and enjoy this nice, uh, this nice deer blind. I think they're going to end up down here. They're going across right now and then they've started to head back a little bit. Hopefully they come up this way. They're about 350 yards right now. the field there. If they end up coming into this thicket right here, they'll come up here later on tonight, I'm sure, to this apple tree up here. But for right now, they're heading across. They're just, they were still about 350, 375 yards out. It's just beyond where I'm comfortable out to about 250, 300 yards with this gun. But I just haven't stretched it out to that, that distance to see what it'll do out there. I'm sure it'll do it. But uh, we just haven't tested it that far, so I'm not going to take that shot. Hopefully they'll come right up here anyways, and it won't matter. But there's some more, I'm sure there's more deer back in this bedding area that'll be coming this way eventually. But it's good to see them moving already. It's early.
That was awesome. That doe went right down, right where she stood. Oh my goodness. That's my first kill with the 41 Great Lakes. I'm excited. This is a new cartridge we're trying out this year and it's not even available. This is a prototype uh, cartridge, kind of a wildcat that uh, we hope to go mainstream with. This has been a lot of fun to test this thing out. It's doing really, really well. Uh, doesn't have hardly any recoil. Boy, it just, it's a sweetheart to shoot. That was awesome. I was hoping they'd come right up here to this apple tree, but that was even better. They're out there just, she was out there just a little bit further away, put it right in the shoulder to drop her right in her tracks. I like doing that just to put them right down right away. There's no tracking. I can drive the truck right to her and pick her up. So that's even better. But the 41 Great Lakes strikes for the first time for me. I love it. Man, that, that is a big doe right there. <laughs> Man, very cool. Look at the size of that. Big old long nose doe. I love it. This is the kind of doe we're looking for in this late season. Take out these big mature does. Take some deer out of the herd for these farmers. I tell you what, this area is just hammered with does. So it's nice to come out here and manage the herd and uh, take out some does in the late season. And in the process, testing the new cartridge. And I'll tell you what, that did a really, really good job. I love that high shoulder shot. It puts them down right away. Man, that's cool. That is a big doe. Sun's setting over there. It's beautiful out. What a nice night and a great night to be testing a new cartridge. Um, this is a Ruger American made in a new cartridge that's gonna be coming out here shortly. And I can't wait to show it off. But right now, it's, uh, it's in the testing phases and I am so blessed to be able to test this kind of stuff. So it did a number on this one. That Fury Bullet did a great job. Um, traveling around 2650 feet per second. This gun is just a sweetheart to shoot, I'll tell you what. What a great night here in late season in Michigan. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my daddy's channel.